Hello everyone, I'm BVG Hill, and welcome back once again to another episode of Mass Effect 2. Here we are on the rather spooky collector ship. We came here to see why it was deactivated, and some... Uh-oh. Some bad shit happened. It ended up being a trap. Go, 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 go. There, where we boarded. We must be getting close to the end. Must be getting close to the end, okay. So yeah, we came here to try and get information on the collectors, and it was very clearly a trap. And all the shit possible hit the fan, and uh, here we are, trying to escape before it, the ship fully powers up and basically wrecks our shit. We did get a new gun last time as well that is incredibly powerful. But also incredibly inaccurate as well. So, you know. Win some, lose some, I suppose, right? We're gonna have to get the sniper rifle out for far distance stuff like this. Alright, I think that's one. Cannot resist. Ow, I just got smacked right in the stomach. You cannot resist. This hurts you. Alright, got him. Alright, moving along. Incoming. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, you're going to die. Oh, I heard that shockwave, and I thought there was a Scion nearby. I think it was just Jack, though. Come on. Blast him. Oh, there is a Scion. Whoa! Come on. Die, 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 die. I hate these things so much. I despise Scions so heavily. It actually hurts me on the inside how much I despise these things. They are such a massive pain in the dick. Oh, I hear screeching of the damn! These look like Geth or Reaper husks. There's so many of them. Back tactics. Ah! Oh my god, Jack. Good shockwave. Jesus. Oh my god, how freaking many of them are there? Alright, time to get out a shotgun here. Good grief! How many of them are there? Right, we're rushing forward. I don't give a shit if 17 of these things come around the corner and start beating the piss out of me. I'm moving up. Hopefully that's all of them. Knock on wood. Okay, cool. I think that is all of them. We're getting in the shuttle now. 
Ship's powering up. Bad news bears. All right, Joker. Make her dance. The intense. Ooh. Oh, my God, mission complete. You better fucking believe it. That piece of shit. So, yeah, he found the Turian signal, the elusive man, knew it was. Uh, bogus and actually sent by the collectors like and forwarded it to us anyways. Before the collector ship came back online. I knew I couldn't trust you, you shit lord. Edie told <clears> us the distress call originated from the collectors. You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. The collectors are taking humans and every minute we waste is one more we give the enemy to prepare. I know the stakes. A little warning would have been nice. Be on the same side and I can't trust you. Without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. Could have told us. Try. But I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You, you yeah, you put a lot of money in. You say I'm important, but you should try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. I'd have found another way. People, there are always alternatives. You may not like being on the receiving end, neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try sure to they avoid are. them, these decisions need to be made. But more importantly, it paid off. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. How do we do that? I'm guessing you have a plan. We have a science team working on a derelict Reaper right now. I need you to go and pick up its IFF. Where'd you right. Find derelict Reaper? <laughs> An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. Right. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. Hmm. The weapon was defunct, but it right. helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. 37 million. So that was a, a long ass time ago. Many, 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 many cycles ago. Aren't brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. Right. Saw what <clears throat> to the so now you're being straight with us here. Hard to imagine anything bitch. could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. See, stuff like that in these games is so cool. Like, I want, I want to learn more about the, the cycles that came before the Protheans. Oh, what's the catch? I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. Right. What to talk about? Of course, Shepard.
He's got pretty badass eyes. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us, used us, needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. Still don't like it. Try something like that again, and the collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie, are you sure this IFF is going to work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the collector homeworld based on navigational data from their. Warden vessel. just can't stop moving. Can't stop, won't stop. That can't be right. Better run the diagnostics, Joker. Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. My calculations are correct. <laughs> She's like, the bitch, please. Collector homeworld is located within the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the collectors don't have that kind of technology. Sovereign did. The collectors are just servants of our real enemy. We've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays and the citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common and would be fatal in the galactic core. Mm. Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. We need to build our team. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. Stick with building a team, baby. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. Salute! Morden? Try to chill out a little bit, buddy. Try to just chill a little bit, man. Come on. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, ba ba ba. Just a little bit, ba ba ba. Just a little bit, ba da ba 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 da ba da. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. New message on the private terminal. No, you lied to me. Why would you do that, Kelly? Oh. Okay, so I think now we should uh oh, talk to Tally. Okay, we should. Talk to Tally then now, shall we? Forgot to talk to Tally last time. Let's do that. Let's go talk to her. And then we should have all of the special missions for all of the crew hey, members. What has the new shielding done to your power grid balance? Not much. We're built in Tally? Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. Anything I you need. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Ward has accused me of treason. Well then. I'm scared, Shepard. Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. What are the charges? Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. What Good happens point. when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. They didn't give you more the information? For treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. Mm. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. Mm. What happens if you're convicted? All right. Like I said, exile. Exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. 
Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. It's an odd so choice. No prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile right. can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. Okay. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vassalani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. Wow. What she what had a bitch. good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems. But they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Right. Was she convicted? That sucks. No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. What's the so procedure how the like? Work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial or something you'd see on the Citadel. Right. We are a family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. I'll help. Okay. Let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, of Shepard. course there's time to help. Come I'll on, Tally. The Normandy with the faith. Current location. Have a little faith. The admirals will be waiting for us. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Travel to the migrant fleet. Okay, now... Oh, brother. Right? Uh, what do we want to do here? Let's go to the galaxy map and we'll see all, we'll see all the uh, pertinent information will pop up on the map and we can decide whichever area of the galaxy map seems to have the most uh, missions marked on it will be the one we go to I think. I mean, I think that makes sense, right? I just realized this entire playthrough we have not used any uh, ship fuel. Holy shit. Um, the Omega... Oh, she just helps Samara. Shadow Broker Base, help Zaid, Firewalker, Ezo Rich Planet. Help Garrus, help Kasumi. Let's go to the Serpent Nebula. Let's go back to the Citadel. Maybe the Citadel was where I got the uh, the fishy VI. I don't know. I want the fishy VI though. You guys just don't understand, okay? <laughs> you just don't understand. I need it. This playthrough will just be shit if I don't get that VI. It's the best thing. Alright. Here we go. On the Citadel. Don't like that it has to play that cutscene every time. I suppose it's better than a- no, okay. I was gonna say I suppose it's better than a loading screen every time, but we get a loading screen anyways. That's fantastic. Love that so much. Oh my god. Bioware games. Oh, so many loading screens. Like Dragon Age Inquisition. Fantastic game, I thought. Um, but seriously, oh. It's too many loading screens, and they all lasted way too flippin' long, too. Like, Jesus. Garrus, buddy. Uh, landing. I found references to Welcome to the Citadel. In crime report, Perhaps that is a good place to start looking. Perhaps. 
Woo! Ugh, excuse me. You know what I haven't had in ages? Ramen. My grandmother used to make the best ramen. Delicious. Thinking back, I really should have stolen her recipe. Uh, maybe you should have. We're just gonna casually look around this here. This looks like the place. Oh, the forger's thug should be inside. Okay, hold on a second, Garrus. We're not doing it yet. Chill out, all right? I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. This is my favorite store on the Citadel. Son of a bitch. Where's my freaking fish feeder VI? Or is that... Maybe that's only a Mass Effect 3. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking maybe that's only in the third game. Maybe some of you have been watching this the whole time and are like, you fucking idiot. How dare you. How dare you think that that's in this game. You total noob. Probably what you're all thinking. I'll anyway. take it. Holy shit, Shepard. Could you yell any louder in my ear holes? Jesus. I want to buy some games, but it won't let me. We're going to go in here real quick. Oh, yeah. Just explore the Citadel a bit this episode. And I believe this guy has a quest. Right. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Leosanese gift shop. That's what we drink? I pour a glass of water it's the same stuff tourists throw garbage in. No, they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a Turian or Quarian drinks it, they could die. Everything right. would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. Where is that gift shop? In the market downstairs from the bar. Delea sells aquariums. Fish are the largest right. place most station residents can get a permit for. Nice. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the Demile flowers and watch from the condo. They're coming in very nice. Keep that in mind. Oh man, this music is just bumping. And this guy's just standing here in front of a toilet. Dance? Shepard's iconic dance. Literally just kind of bobbing around. Guns on the back. Any local news? <laughs> uh, games making fun of games. Love it. Absolutely love it. I so highly approve of stuff like that in video games. This is going to kind of be a really weird episode, I think. Elisa Bint seen in Al Jelani. Yeah, it's going to be a very strange episode. For sure. I'm just gonna go down to here and find those Krogan. There they are. And find these guys and be like, hey, found out about fish on the Presidium. What do you want? Why are you so interested in fish from the Presidium? It's so decadent. Eating a fish from the Presidium would be like screwing Shaira. Okay. Uh, sorry you're so squishy. Where are you supposed to get a decent grip? <laughs> I talked to one of the Presidium groundskeepers. Uh, he said there aren't any fish in the lakes. What? I told you. Why have all that water if you're not going to store something to eat in it? I don't understand aliens at all. Thanks for telling me. It's all he's talked about all damn day. Like all damn month, really. 
I mean, last time I was here for was a quite a while ago, dude. I mean, just saying. All right, let's go to 26, and we'll kind of get over here in front of the shipping lords warehouse and leave it there for today, right? Okay, so uh, we didn't do a whole lot today, but it's going to be kind of a weird episode, so I apologize for that. But at the same time, I feel like we made some progress. I'm happy with that. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope. Oh, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. If you really liked it, make sure to hit the subscribe button that's also down below for more content from me, and feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought, what you liked, what you didn't like, and any suggestions for games that you would like to see me play in the future. And last, but most certainly not least, if this video just blew your mind, then most definitely be sure to share this video with your friends, your family, your loved ones, random people meet on the street, or the internet, whatever floats your boat, and I will see all of you in the next one. See you later.